We're digital citizens and so we've always had a thread of digital use and literacy throughout everything that we've done. So when we were setting our curriculum we were able to think what kind of tools would our children need if they were young digital citizens of our country. And so purchasing and thinking about resourcing and thinking about how we'd use our space I kind of handed the project over to my Deputy Principal, Ben, who is um, a really creative digital thinker himself. And he formed a professional learning community of probably early adopters. And they have been uh, tasked with the challenge of making sure that everybody understands the vision around our children being digitally literate and how we will enable teachers and support staff to affi our learners and to provide that platform for them to be able to be computational thinkers and great design thinkers. So if you came to West Rollison Primary School, um, you'd see our kids engaged in problem-based learning. And so uh, what that would look like um, when we have a digital technologies focus is that um, we'd start with an essential question, which would be sort of a broad, wide ethical question might be a problem within a national, you know, a national problem or a worldwide problem that the kids are trying to be change makers for. And so they are coming up with um, ways that they can use uh, digital technologies to try and solve those problems. One of the topics that the kids have really focused on has been um, innovative Ōtutahi, so innovative Christchurch and what Christchurch has done to rebuild after the earthquake. Um, and so they've used digital technology such as a green screen or a explain everything um, app to kind of promote some of those innovative ideas that people have had across the city um, and they've come up with their own ideas of what could be next. I've done a portfolio which is a thing we do at school. Um, on innovative autotahu. So um, you're supposed to come up with something like a scratch project or a video or a PowerPoint or something. And um, I did a scratch project because I'm in Code Club this year. Because I was going to have a cool quiz, but I ended up with this guy called Monkey Dave popping in at the end. He was supposed to do a quiz all about autotahu. They, they find it really meaningful because they come up with the question that they're trying to solve. And then um, they're able to use a range of you know really fun, engaging and motivating tools. Yeah, they're really motivated because they, they're driving their learning, they're coming up with that question, and then they're using their expertise in um, various different technologies to, to see it through to a solution, which is really great. My favourite one was my World War I one. I was quite exciting about that because nobody really talked about that much. And I learnt a lot more about my family because we're on a passion um, on a PBL, which is one of the things that we do. And I learned that one of my members of my family was in World War One, so I wanted to learn more about that. But I learned probably more than I needed to, I lost. Within PBL, we'll start with our teachers kind of talking with the kids about what tools that we have within the school. And the kids are really aware of what they have at their disposal to try and um, meet their, their goal, um, or whatever their, their sort of project is going to be and then they'll go about um, choosing what, you know, what their outcome is going to be and what device or digital technology they're going to use to um, sort of, you know, take that forward. They dream some ideas up and then they put it into action. They're only using digital tools if they're the best learning tool that, that they need at the time. And if they're not, then they need to look at other tools that they can use. Our vision for our children has been to very much be creators of technology, just not just users. I find it quite exciting because then instead of playing games, you actually feel like you actually created that game. Yeah, I've made quite a few different games, about 30. As well as obviously the digital technology kind of skill skills that they're uh, developing, yeah, there's a whole range of other skills that is going along with it. You know, um, the working together is a massive one, so that collaboration. Resourcing is a really big thing because our expectation is that our teachers are keeping ahead of the game really in terms of what um, children will be using with technology and thinking about what they can achieve. So 
within a staff meeting, uh, some of the um, teachers in the digital professional learning community will just be naturally including, okay, if you're teaching science capabilities, how would you have a digital thread in that and what would you be using? And so they'll provide practical examples. They'll have the tools there, whether it's Beebots or um, Lego We Do or something, they'll have it there and, and show teachers how you can naturally integrate digital into your teaching. Our teachers are really time poor and the best gift we could give them is time to actually explore and play. So if there's an area that I need to think really carefully about and um, we do as school leaders then it's how do we enable our staff to have time to play with tools to, to be creative themselves.